welcome, welcome to our part two of our talk in change in politics and the impact on the COVID-19 uh, uh, market recovery that we've seen so far. Welcome to our 17th of October Saturday and our live FB. We are back again <laughs> every Saturday, especially in the post-COVID where all of us are locked down, especially in the Selangor, uh, Putrajaya and Kuala Lumpur. We have nowhere to go. I wanted to go somewhere today. I even want to go to the nearby uh, uh, Mon Kiara to, to walk my hill. But unfortunately, I don't think uh, probably I cannot summon $1,000 by the police. So we can't do that. So well, why not do the second next best thing and watch what we have prepared for you in our live Facebook. Do share this in your timeline and also in your, all right? And uh, we welcome any comments, how we can improve our thing. Of course, those of you who, how many of you are listening for the first time? If you are listening for the first time, type one, okay? If you are listening for the first time, type one, and then join our Telegram chat room for our free stock market information in here. Do join us, we are uh, in there. And what we do is really a lot of good value and a lot of stock tips and potential stocks which is intend to uh, go up, which I will tell you tonight too, all right? All right. Okay, now also those of you who don't know, uh, this video and what we did on Wednesday, we are actually archived to our YouTube, okay? And uh, do subscribe to it so you won't miss out any of our great talks, particularly, you know, uh, we, we talked about plastic uh, that was uh, about a two, two months back. Now it's starting to move up the rubber glove and the post-COVID and also the uh, the uh, plantation stocks inside there. So take note of that and uh, subscribe to our YouTube so you won't miss out anything in here. And also don't forget uh, those of you who are here for the first time, thank you again. Uh, hi, hi, Aaron. And uh, do download a copy of Smart Roby that you see in here and then you can find out which is what is good for you. The rubber glove, the tech sectors, which is good. You know, If you are from Google, this is the, this is the Google and you can just QR code it and uh, sign up in there because whatever we talk about, especially also in our breakfast show, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, some of the stocks we talk about, you can always check it out. I think more importantly is what we want to do in Trade VSA is to give you the knowledge that you need supported by all our propriety uh, technology as well as Smart Roby. Be with you 24 by 7 and always updating you what the market is, whether it is tech or rubber stock or maybe the EMS, the uh, electronic manufacturing services, which is a lot focusing on, on the plastic products like the Dyson. All right. Now, yesterday, uh, the 16th of October, something very sad happened. Uh, one of my good friends, which all of a sudden I got text from another friend from uh, CIMB of the passing of Nigel Fu. Uh, he has been one of my old friends way back, almost 10 years ago, to be frank with you. We, we, we have very similar... Uh, uh, history, we both graduated from La Salle. He's from La Salle PJ, I'm from La Salle Klang. Both are from Monash, right? And uh, he, he was only 51 when he passed away. Uh, it's very sad. And I just heard it three weeks ago. We used to you know, keep in touch in WhatsApp. Three weeks ago, he was uh, just doing another talk uh, with the, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, Inari, if not Inari or Penta. Uh, we we kind of sort of asked what, what's happening in here and he passed away. Uh, on Friday, and because he was given a Mus Muslim uh, a burial, it was everything was quite uh, quick, and uh, you know uh, it's very sad. And that's the photo that I have of him when he visited us uh, just before the MCO started. And he was a big supporter of Trade VSA. Having said that, um, it's very sad. Having said that, uh, he believed in what are things that we do, volume spread analysis, and it helped and also try to push out the volume spread and as a passing of a great analyst and a good friend, uh, indeed, uh, Nigel Fu, uh, that may you rest in peace. So today's talk is actually dedicated to, to him. All right, Nigel Fu. All right. So meanwhile, let's look at what we have seen so far. Now, uh, here we have seen the vaccine and also the glove making can continue to go on. I think many of you also heard about the recent uh, property player, right? I think Maseng is coming in, setting up 150 million facilities, going into 20 billion production, competing with the big four that we see. Uh, what are those big four? Huh? Uh, Top Glove, Supermax, uh, uh, Hatta Lega, and also uh, Top Glove, Supermax, Hatta Lega, and Kosan. That's right. So this continue to move on. I think there is a lot of opportunity that you see. I think this is 
are not rocket scientists because if you look at it, the COVID-19 continued to uh, rage in, the, in all parts of the world. US is hitting 8 million, you know, and uh, there are a lot of uh, demand for rubber glove. And I think, like it or not, the ASB may stay up there. So that's why we are seeing another resurgence of the rubber glove. And tonight we want a little bit touch on that one too. But for most part of it, we will talk on the political counter in the KLSC. After all, that's why you're here uh, today. Okay, uh, let's look at the hot, hot sector right now. Now, the hot, hot sector is a really good indication where you want to put your money. Uh, the construction, if you look at this was last week, uh, it started to turn finance. It's starting to turn up. So this is good. This is one of those tools that we have in our dashboard that you can check on a weekly basis or when you follow our program every uh, Wednesday night uh, talk or, or Saturday, I will always highlight you and bring you up to date. Very important, bring you up to date the latest sectors. What we do in here are quite different. We do by sector to sector. If you can get the sector right, your chance of making money is definitely very good. Do, do you believe in that? If you believe in that, follow by sector, give me a thumbs up. All right, we really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. Okay, so right now we can see the healthcare last week uh, was much higher. This the, the, the height of the, the column bar just tell you how strong the relative strength is. And if you notice, it is still in a positive area. But what is coming right now, you can see uh, industrial product. That is the AT, INS, the VS. That is the one very hot last week to this week. You can see healthcare is tapering off. So hopefully uh, next week we will see, you know, healthcare, if healthcare do break up, uh, then we see these things slightly move up. Technology is uh, is just, uh, but akan datang, you know, the finance inside here, utilities and construction is, is coming back in here. Uh, you, you notice some of those stocks uh, are in the red zone here. This is where the composite index is. So this one sort of give you a perspective of where the market is. We, we find that uh, this information is really uh, important for many of you to sort of like a map, a, a GPS. Okay. Now on the foreign fund side, uh, the trade VSA, again, and our uh, dashboard in here, uh, we are seeing uh, more uh, buying by the foreign funds. Uh, earlier in August, we can see only a couple in, but then they increases in September. October is, is coming back here and there were still some selling. If you notice, uh, still less than 100 million in here. Uh, our CI now is, is sort of, you know, really hitting this resistance, uh, 1550 in here. And uh, we, we came from a, a height of 1.6. Uh, this blue line that you see, all right, this blue line that you see refers to the right-hand side of the KLSC. All right, refer to... And uh, you have the red one is the net outflow. Very important, if the market were to go higher, we need foreign funds to, to come in. But now with the general election 15 that you see, now, what do you think? Do you think we're gonna get a lot more of this uh, uh, foreign funds coming in? Do type it in there, what do you think? All right, well, let's, let's talk about this a bit more discussion here. Okay. And uh, let's, okay, so if you can put it in there, I'd like to hear your comment too. Okay, let's move on. Now, early on in September, when we talk about it, uh, I think I talked about it, the September, there was a correction. And one of the economists uh, uh, at uh, Yadeni talked about, no, a market correction was good, you know, before the market end. If you didn't have that market correction. Okay, is the sound coming okay? Got sound or not? Okay, just want to know whether there are sound or not. Can you hear me? If there's sound, just type in there whether there are sound or not. Testing one, two, three. No sound. Oh, why, what happened? There? Okay, got sound or not? Audio okay? Okay, audio is okay, right? Audio okay, give me a thumbs up. I want to make sure foreign funds are worried. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we have the September 2020 market corrections. Okay, the market corrections and the October month, all right, we are in the October month, as you can see right now. The October month, usually it's a very busy uh, month because we're going to see lots of earnings coming up. So I think I've shown this on last Wednesday. It's good to always refresh because I want to keep in mind, October month are very bullish for the US market. In addition, what we've seen right now, we have only less than two weeks to November 3rd. As I said before, November, coming to that last one week on November 3rd, we are likely to see sell off. Right now, I'm going to show you the next chart in here, right? Uh, but very important, this season news, we are seeing the October month will be a slightly uptick. Okay, the October month, we will see a slightly uptick and uh, we will test 
the O2990. Now, this is where we are right now. Let me just bring out my pencil. Okay, this is where we are. The old high here was just short of 29,500. All right, so usually one week, okay, one week, or maybe I'll write it down here because one week before the election, now, which is 3rd of November, okay, we'll see a bit of sell off. So two things can hit. It will hit here and then sell back down in here. But what's going to happen after the election? It's going to be... Now, a lot of things has been priced in, okay? First of all, number two, what has been priced in is a Biden win, okay? A Biden win or uh, and uh, another one, uh, or uh, let me see, uh, a Trump winning with Supreme Court intervention, okay? Supreme Court intervention. Now, if you're going to get a Supreme Court intervention, this is the more serious one because what happened is, you know, worst case, you might get into a civil war because uh, so we hopefully hope that the margin win is big. If the margin win is very small with the uh, Amy Garrett being voted as the Supreme Court, he is going to rule in favor because a lot of the, the ballot the mailing ballot will not be counted after November 3rd. It's going to be a very dirty win. And if that, that if that happened, this number three here, that is the biggest worry. Because when the market, remember, remember, huh? market do not thrive on uncertainty. When you have uncertainty like that, this is where the market will sort of, you know, you see this market breaking down. But a Biden win will be definitely good. So right now the market is pricing in a Biden win. Uh, for that matter. So right now, the market continue to go higher because of this two person, you all know. Do you know who this two person is? Anybody? Like Steve Mnuchin, the uh, secretary, and you have Nancy Pelosi, okay, which is the House of Congress. So both of them are really talking about, maybe just remove this, uh, uh, the, the eraser, right? Okay, eraser. And the, uh, so the U.S. is set to test the old high once they're able to reach the COVID-19 economic uh, stimulus package. Uh, it, for a start, uh, Steve Mnuchin was actually targeting about 1.8 trillion, and uh, we uh, Steve Nancy Pelosi wanted more, 2.1. So they couldn't agree. So still now, still bing bong, bing bong. But if you look at here, the charts very very nice. Uh, on Wednesday, we have the big sell off. Uh, so on Thursday, we have the big sell, but last night the market really recovered in here. So you can see this is a nice spring holding it up in here. The, the, the fact that it need to test the 2900, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, something going forward. So next week, market is going to be a lot unsettled, but I will update you on Wednesday night in here. All right. So let's turn our attention to, to uh, politics now, right now. Let's turn our attention to the Malaysian politics. Now, the latest, which I've just, uh, you know, been following in here, uh, this is one of the Amno men. I tell the Prime Minister that don't ask us to state our demand, make your offer. That's right. I, I think what he already stated uh, is, is pretty clear. It's like a buy and sell agreement. I think you have seen it before, right? The buy and sell, including, including the Deputy Prime Minister plus many, many uh, others. You know, like it or not, you know, um, Amno is still uh, back to this old way, you know, despite having one of the biggest majority in there. And I think it's also a fact they did a lot of hard work too, you know, going out to the grassroots, getting the kind of support and, uh, you know, making a demand in this. But if you think of it, being uh, the, the, the state of politics that we have in Malaysia, you know, it's all boils down to Apaini. Do it, Sadia. You know, it's it's very sad. You know, especially the younger generation who 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 are coming up and they see all these politics, ah, uh, uh, on there. But then again, we as as the older generation, uh, like you and me, you know, but at the end of the day, what can we make out from it? I think that's very important too. The opportunity that is presented in here, what can we do with it? All right. So let's let's move on to the, the another news that came out. Uh, earlier on, uh, there was a revision. Uh, Khalid Samad came out, uh, which is the Amana guy, said, hey, you know, we have 30 MP, and then suddenly the Amno U turn, right? Uh, wait a minute, there may be a, a, a revision, and then you have also the next news, uh, ah, six probe against Amno, including sodomy, okay? And uh, say no political uh, pressure, but uh, so basically they are just recycling the old campaign against him, uh, sodomy three, sodomy four, this one. 
really sweat, man, I tell you. Uh, don't they have anything else to do? But it's kind of like a, a very interesting topic to, to, to follow on it. So uh, as such, that's why I talk about, you know, the, the counter that we talk about will be interesting as the day draws by in here, okay? But there will be opportunity. So uh, what do you think? If you like what you've seen so far, give me another thumbs up and we will proceed on. Is the speed okay, not so far? Okay, if the speed is okay, just type two, all right? So the continuation of the saga in here. But right now, the boss is still Tan Sri Muhyiddin. I'm still the boss until proven. And guess what? He's working very hard, right? He was in self-quarantine during this COVID-19 pandemic in here. And uh, he is going to uh, work hard to ensure all the public in here. And it is going forward, it's going to be. But let's look at where it all started. A huh? very quick one, just to refresh some of for you. February 23rd, the Sheraton move, right? In uh, the boardroom, uh, level 3C. That was the, the, the one that came in and uh, as a result of the Sheraton move, the Pakatan Harapan government sung after 22 months there, right? And uh, you have this Batman and Robin who came in and he asked, hey boss, got enough seats or what, right? So that was the time where we saw Prime Minister also resign and as such, you know, we have uh, uh, a change of government, right? And we also have the Sabah election, which I talk about on Wednesday, but today is focusing on part two. As such, we have a, a formation of the Perikatan National here. All right, let me just bring up my leader. So it has 113 seats. If you add all this, 91, 9 and 109, so it's very, very close because majority, majority, okay, majority, let me just put it in. Majority is 111. So you have 113. So 113 is just, uh, just two seats only. Anytime uh, the katak lompat, uh, <laughs> that's what's happening now. You saw the Amno, which is the biggest seat here, 39. Uh. So you have 39 and uh, 91. So you have 39, let's say, uh, and plus Warisan, you definitely have more than 120 seats, which is 11 seats is needed for the majority. So that and also you can notice Pak Basatu is the smallest. It's only 31 only. Okay, even worse off than uh, PKR, right? The urban area is well supported uh, by the uh, by the Pakatan Harapan, but the rural area, that's where the Perikat National and also in Sabah and Sarawak we've seen the, uh, the GPS and also the PSB uh, and a little bit of virus sun, which is very, very strong inside here. Okay, Najib and Zahid jointly right to the palace where they support Anwar. That's just what's actually like happening. It's very liquid, you know. Uh, of course, we have seen the uh, PDRM, right? Which is, you know, really backing up governments and really doing the, uh, the news that we saw just now in there. Okay, so the question is, how long can this government survive? What do you think? How long can the government survive here? All right. How long can the government survive? Not very long, isn't it? So there's a lot of, uh, say, uh, maybe Christmas, but we will do a couple of speculation in here, shall we? Uh, that's why we are here, fine. We do a couple of speculation in here and to see what we talk about is true or not. How long can this uh, government uh, survive in here? Okay. Now, definitely for start, what has happened right now in terms of in the midst of COVID-19 global pandemic, you know, saya merayu kepada anda semua terus Duduk di rumah, supaya duduk di rumah. Dua minggu, very important. Huh? This two weeks until uh, we started lock up only on Friday. So until end of the month, which is the 31st of October is very important. And uh, so we already acknowledge the Sabah election was the cause of all this. I know some of you are still angry. I am angry too. But we can't, you know, talk about the past. We have to move on. All right. Like it or not, this is only satu tanah air saja for you and me. Okay, uh, you can do what most people does, migrate to Australia, migrate to US, but now COVID, different case altogether. There are cases also like it, the road, all right? So we do what we best can as an investor, in a context as an investor, we try to take opportunity of, of the market. That's why the trade BSA, myself and the team with, with Zach and Arif in here and also uh, Coach uh, Fu and Marina want to, to teach you all this, okay? Now, if you look at yeah, his uh, Dr. Uh, Tan Sri, Dr. No Hisham also said that stay at home for the next two weeks, okay? Uh, whole point is to keep the R0.0.1. Now, if you look at the case that we have, 660, 589, 629, these are new cases. Yesterday is 629, 
And if you look, this is the date here. Okay, let me just switch on to my laser pointer. If you look, today is the 17. You can see here 17, right? 17, if you follow his prediction, uh, 17, we supposed to be 350. <laughs> 350, but yesterday is what? 629, which means our R0 is definitely uh, going up here. We are in 1.5 R0. Okay, 1.5 R0 is not good. So my, my question is, if we shoot to 1,000 here, right, shoot to 1,000 here, this is where we go parabolic. Ah, you see all the XOX stock go up there, climatic, boom, turun. Ha, ah, this one don't turun. <laughs> okay, so that's how, how sad is it, okay? And uh, we are no longer, we are, in, I believe we are R0 1.5, but we shouldn't go to 2.2. Because once you go to 2.2, by end of this month, we'll hit 4,500, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 4,500 per day. Right now, we are 629. So hopefully tonight, by the time I finish this talk, around 6 o'clock, I think you'll know, right? What do you think our new number is? Do you think we'll go below 400 or we're going to hit higher? Right? Limit up. I like that, Derek. <laughs> Dr. Derek, limit up 30% uh, jump. Ah, your kepala pening. Yeah, 4,500 per day is the end game. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what we can do right now is to, you know, enjoy... Uh, the, the, the talk that we have for you in here, you know, we, we in mind with the politics, with also the COVID-19 uh, that we have. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I've done that slide. So this is where we are, the 500, 600 here, level in here, 600. So we are at 1.5, but it does look like we are going to R0 1.5. This is the one that we are going to. Okay. Now, uh, the O men of AMNO, okay? Uh, siapa nak jadi PM angkat tangan here, okay? So, Anwar Ibrahim, do you know what I mean? Now, always this part, will he ever become the Prime Minister, okay? Prime Minister, what do you think, okay? Now, we also seen that the uh, uh, Mahate has come out and uh, really against the uh, Anwar being uh, a Prime Minister, but you have to be seen. Something which is still ongoing, you can have Zahid and Najib even supporting Anwar because you know, you like it or not, Anwar is only person not in the case. There is a case again, uh, of course, we all know Najib has a case, uh, Zahid has a case, Lim Guaning also has a case. Anwar, they're trying to uh, do a recycle campaign again on the sodomy, Donut 3, 3 or sodomy 4 inside here. So there's a lot been done on the, and on the, the politics in here. So the question is, can he tahan or not, okay? Although the king has come out and said, look, all this politically, please stop, okay? Because we have COVID-19, but it will not stop. I can tell you that because these people are, you know, entrenched in their head, really, you know, the power and the money in here. And who is to suffer? Just like Tan Sri Dr. No Hisham said, the politician has failed us, okay? Mm. Okay, let's look at the something a bit more uh, political side after seeing the, the, the backdrop that we have. The impact of the past general election that we have. Let's go back to 2008. Okay, 2008 in here, uh, we've seen what we have here. Now, if you look back 2008 in the context which happened on March, uh, 8th of March 2008, you can see the market uh, immediately in here, uh, talk about election, hit new high and then jato. All right, but also in the backdrop of of, of the global financial crisis uh, that we had 2000 and 2009. It did, uh, went up for one month. That is when uh, uh, Badawi, right? Badawi won and the market, yes, the market did drop, okay? But it came from all high inside here. This was actually, right? And people thought the market would rally, but on the backdrop of global financial crisis, then the market just sank all the way. So the election did have some help, but leading to it, it's very similar to what we've seen right now in 2020, all right? So next one, we go to the general election 13, 5th of May, 2013. So you look at the, the 5th of May, again, uh, of course, 2013 was a better year. The market did went up. Uh, subsequently, of course, there was a wash. And something we're going to talk about, the uh, something down the road here. Just keep in mind, the wash, or we call shakeout, okay? The wash or the shakeout, which is uh, uh, usually... Uh, a part of part and parcel of the market before the market can go higher. So in the general election 13, 5th of May 2013, the Barisan again led by Najib, this right after Badawi, then you have Najib and a lot of money was pumping. Uh, I think you all know about the one MDB case. Uh, there were 222 seats just like what we have in 
uh, now 133 seats of uh, under Barisan National, where they only uh, need 112. All right, 111 is the majority seat. 148 was for two thirds. They couldn't make it, and Pakatan Harapan was 89. Okay, and you can see. Now, fast forward to uh, the recent one, 9 of May 2018, where we see the, wow, a big, big shift, isn't it? You can see the uh, Amno, if you look at the old one, BN133, it has dropped to 79, and uh, PASS has wrestled a few more seats. Pakatan has 104, uh, PKR inclusive, and then you have DAP about uh, 9 parliamentary seats inside there. Uh, so that is what is right now, okay, in 2000. And eight, nine seats. Okay. So Warisan has eight seats, Bebas has three seats. PKR was pretty strong uh, in uh, 104. All right. So that continues. Now, this is uh, this is where we are today, 2020. And right now, this is my speculation day. Okay. Don't hold me too strong. But I felt that December, right, if the COVID 19 can be uh, contained, they will be likely because of the two seats and the way how the market is going and you have news that you talk about Najib and uh, uh, Zahid supporting Anwar. I think December time frame is where the GE15 you, you will come. So this is where the market is. And um, my big concern is where it will be heading. Okay, right now with the COVID-19 and the, and, and the recovery, we, we will see the market will try to retest back the 1480 in here. See, coming back to 1497, 1480. If we break back here, uh, that doesn't sound to be very good. The market need to stay above. We have a bit of foreign funds, funds which I've just showed you there. So it does tell you there's a little bit of some. So the 1490, it's important to hold that level else. Huh? Uh, because this week, a market has fallen 42 points for that one. So what, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen, type? Do you, because based on the old history that we have, there's only three, three um, types of month that we have. December, because of school holiday, it's going to be tough. March and May. I haven't checked the, about the higher Raya or not. The general election 15. What do you think? It is going to be in uh, December, March or May. Just type in there your answers, okay? It'll be interesting to know. What do you think? Likelihood to be the election time frame. Okay. Uh, I don't think December is possible. If it's December, it's I can tell you the general, uh, the current government will get the repercussions, you know, because despite of the COVID-19, uh, they, are, they are just thinking for their money. More likely will be in March after Chinese New Year. Yes, December is too soon, March, yeah. I, I, I'll think probably to be March uh, where they have a chance, but desperate people will do desperate things, okay? Okay, so keep in mind, March next year, because we had two in March next year. Okay, good. So let's look at the first corporate link that we have, uh, the Anwar one. I think I'll talk about this on Wednesday. Uh, very quickly, so I'm going to go through. Then I have another two more sections to go. The Anwar, you just have two counters, ASP and Mui Industry, okay? Now, the ASP, as you can see before, the market actually gaps up and then coming here. Of course, this, it's a good level when it's well supported. So to trade this ASB, okay, you need to switch to an hourly chart, uh, like this one in here. And when you have a green pentagon, just do it that one. I think this level in here around 20, this level here, uh, 17 and a half. So later on, when Zach show you the trading view, that's where you can actually ask about the, those counter ASP. So just keep in mind, all right? Uh, if you look at the company, ASB, they own the Holiday Villa, the uh, in Churating and also in Subang Jaya, the uh, SJ Securities, and a few travel in here, but they've been very badly hit. If you look at it, they make money, they, they make, re the revenues are not bad, you know, 267, right? It's just that every year, they sort of even it up, only make a small, small profit. With the exception of 2009, they sold the building and made a higher profit after 95.6 million. So having said that, I do think uh, uh, the ASP boss, huh? Uh, Dato Ahmad Sabi Baka. It's a very shrewd businessman. He knows what he's doing. He's just keeping up the profit, not to declare too much, sapu everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, then if you look at the next company, which is the Mui industry, which is under uh, Tan Sri Ku Keping, uh, also run the Metro. You can see Metro also doing very badly uh, because of the COVID-19. If you ever go up to Mid Valley, that's the one that they have. But now it's run by the son, uh, Andrew Ku. Uh, very fashion, fashion guy. 
uh, Australian, uh, apparently, but uh, running the business. So in here, you can see also the sister, uh, Farizun uh, Ibrahim, part of the director in here, just only for Mui Industry India. So you can see the, the climatic volume on this bar here, the, um, the up trust, this is the climatic bar uh, here. So that tells you a lot has been distributed, which means the market tablet mm jalan, -hmm. you know, a lot have, have you seen. I'm going to show you a few more about the distribution chart. When you see those kind of uh, climatic volume, where they search out, uh, everything habis, all right? So if you look at the uh, Mui industry, Mui, what, what do Mui industry do? They do retailing. They, they also own the Chorus Hotel, right? And uh, every year or so, I can see, uh, really doing bad for 2013. If you see a trend here, the revenue dropping, right? And also the profit. That, that tells you, you know, the, the sun. Uh, yeah, can, cannot use. La. <laughs> right? Uh, Tan Sui Ku Kebeng, or maybe, you know, he's focusing on something else, on diversifying in here. Myself just tap out, you know, but the stock price has taken a very bad hit. Now they, they do hotel food. You can see, right, retailing hotel and food, all these are impacted uh, by the COVID-19. So they have to turn into, you know, what we call the uh, the new model, the e-commerce model. If they don't, very charm. And all these are property. You can see uh, the merging of UEM Sunrise and also Echo World. So really, really bad. You know? So again, why I say this? Because these are not fundamental stock or are going stock. Okay. Uh, then you have the uh, Pan Malaysia. Now Pan Malaysia is cocoa based. <laughs> what I mean by cocoa based? They distribute a lot of cocoa and food going forward. Yeah. Metro, same as Parkinson's so or Sunset Industry. So they are in the manufacturing marketing. Again, you can see uh, the, the food industry not too bad holding up, but they still can't make money, you know, despite, you know, earning uh, 70 plus over this year, up to date, it's about 50 million in here. Uh, a better bet, more efficient, uh, actually, if you look at it, is GCB. Now, these are from Smart Roby. You can use Smart Roby. If you, those of you who don't have, I've given you the code, download it, and uh, weekend, you can use it for free. So GCB is actually a better substitute in terms for the same sector for cocoa business. You can see there was a no demand in here. And, uh, and using the Pentagon, uh, our mm -hmm. proprietary system, uh, you can see that GCB has a accuracy of 77.8% with Pentagon green buy signal since uh, 15th of April, 2019. What it simply says that there were nine trades out from it and 77% of those trades turn out to be a winner in here. So uh, the question is always, and GCB, if you look from the fundamental uh, side of it, if you just go on to Smart Robby, you can find that it is rated out of five and does pay a very good 5% uh, dividend in here. Now, the second link, uh, I think this is, is the uh, Ahmad Zahid Hamidi counter, okay, the part two of it. So today we focus on part two. So he has four, uh, I, I was told that he has about 100 over companies in here, but as for it, we will focus on those uh, three counters inside here. Uh, too many. First of all, it's Data Sonic, uh, MYEG with Excel Force. Uh, it was bought by the the guy, uh, another Dato Dato Wong, uh, Wong Nap, Wong Tiam, Tiam something. I can't remember the last name. Okay, uh, very brilliant young young chap. But MYEG has has diversified out and focus a lot on overseas already okay let's look at the first one is data sonic okay now you uh, notice again uh, data sonic is involved in smart card you know uh, the, the passport ic things like so if you notice one of the things from here uh, over the years uh, the uh, revenue has has come down ever since uh, the uh, with the exception of uh, uh, 2000 and 20, which done pretty well, 247 million. It has a margin of about 24. Uh, but right this year until 2021, the first quarter, uh, the margin has dropped significantly in here. All right. So if you look over some time, the margin has dropped. So it needs a lot of revenue to make up for the uh, probability of the year. On chart wise, you can see, right, uh, on Data Sonic in here from the Smart Row B, uh, there was a climatic distribution in here. You can see every time when you have huge volume in here, this is the ATR stop loss. You can see this red line. Once it cut through it, all right, and uh, this is the red pentagon here. If you have sort of cut it out, you would have avoided a minus 20% in here. So all you know, what it simply says that if you have some stock, when you see red pentagon, take some profit or cut loss if you need to, else you are looking really for a downside. And the stock has been down since 14th of August. So any chance for you to want to buy, just use the green pentagon, all right? For that one, T.S. Wong, that's right, yeah. 
And uh, next one uh, is MIEG. MIEG is one of the better ones from the so-called, and they do uh, government to consumer electronic uh, government projects and ICT in here. Uh, of course, the best year was still in 2019. Revenue is still uh, good around 240, 250 million in here. This year, I think MIEG will do well. They did win a couple of projects in here. The margins are very high, actually. I, I like this stock. So having said that, it does have a support around 125, 128 here. Uh, you can go on the premium alert. I can't uh, do the fundamental to check out what is the dividend state. Right now, it's not gonna, but if Hamidi do come in, MIG is one of the better counter. It is very good, it's profitable. It is a, uh, a sort of in the e, uh, electronic government kind of sector in here. Don't pay, don't overpay, right? Buy around maybe 130. That's a good support level in here, all right? Next one is uh, Copcom or Comintel uh, in the IT and telecommunication. If you look back 2019, 2020, 2021, they really haven't really done very, very well, all right? So you can see this is this is one of those stocks. But again, if Hamid, uh, Zahidi come in, okay? Now the question is whether the court charges, right, uh, will be dropped like what we see in uh, Musa Aman for the uh, ex Sabah prime minister. So there will be a lot of this kind of funny, funny decisions, okay? So you can see here, Comintel is, uh, low accumulation and this is really like this is really a lot of smart money really buying a uh, low support support at 15 cent here and you can see you know any time when this thing won there will be some project awarded to comintel right and this stock will move these are the type of smart money will buy on low volume increments just still supported around there right uh if you look back uh it made a uh, minus uh, profit it lost uh, four million you know, hardly make any money this year for, uh, so far, right? Uh, so that's the prognosis. They're really bad company to be frank with you. We all started with, we're upset for MYEG. But in terms of smart money, and if you can put this as an option, uh, 15 cent, uh, you can, worst, worst case, you lose 50%. This is, the, it can shoot up to 25 cent, you know, more like an option play. Well, support. Then we have the other corporate link if uh, DAP also will come in and there's only one counter I can think of. Right, uh, Wong Kem Soon, thank you, thank you. Uh, it is, uh, you, you, you win, uh, that's right. You Siu King, that's right. The, the uh, executive chairman and uh, CEO in here. So this one got to do with the Penang projects. Again, looking from this, uh, the, the revenue is growing actually uh, for this company in here and they're still maintaining the uh, 20. Revenue is about uh, 250 million so 204 million, then this one hit about 250. So right now, uh, they're in the types of business, property development, manufacturing of steel shape, fabricated parts and investment holding in here. This is actually not a bad company. If they can come back, right, even, you can see, uh, so a little bit of, this is what I talk about, low volume, low volume, right? Very similar to uh, what we just saw with Comintel or Copcom, right? Then the volume comes in. You need the volume to come in again. Once the volume come in, in you wait for the pullback, uh, this one will jalan. I think this is reacting uh, either two things, right? The possibility of the news that we saw, okay? On the 11th of October in here. Pay back the money taken from Najib San and charges drop. Oh uh, yeah, maybe that's quite true in that, okay? So you can see the market reacted with a very high volume. Again, very high volume, not so good. The market will drop. So you need to wait for it to drop, 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 drop because you want to go in with a very low risk. If you buy here, sign the market, sell back down, uh, that's where your money gets stuck, uh, okay? So learning volume is very important, all right? Having said that. So here is a good point. Now remember, time is money, okay? Time is money and it's also a very precious resources in here. So what's their end game? I think the end game is all about money inside here. Now I want to turn your attention. I know a lot of people way back like me in 2018, want to go for all those uh, GLC counters or government link counters or political link counters in here. But it's very difficult to bet. You thought this and then that happened. Then what happened? The money stuck, all right? You, lo you look at it, uh, George Ken, uh, some of those uh, IWCT, those Najib counter. Today, I didn't talk about Najib counter because I think Najib is very hard to escape. Huh? After all, he's already been charged. He's just going for a court of appeal, which will take about two years. It's just another way of delaying the court decision in here. Eventually, he hoped that there will be a change in government 
and the new king will pardon him. But ha yo, I tell you that comes up. A lot of people will be disappointed with the, the things that we have done so far here. All right. So what is your end game? Right. I think the end game is about making money. Making money, making money consistently. It's not to gamble. If you just want to gamble and punt one or two trades, that's fine. I think uh, like like the uh, uh, Comintel in here or MYEG. MYEG is a, is a better bet and uh, Ewing is not so bad too. Okay, but you have to wait for a, a better level. So what the end game here is to understand volume, understand uh, spread analysis, understand volume, understand spread. And your end game, if like me, is making money, why don't you switch over to a better trend. Remember we, earlier we talked about all those sectors, right? The uh, the uh, the healthcare sectors, the technology sectors, and also the industrial product sectors. That's the sectors that's going on. You can see in here. So these are the counter. Uh, you can. You, I think I showed you last uh, last Friday. No, sorry, last Wednesday. Huh? D Pharma, LKL, Top Glove. They are making wave right now in here. Okay. So these are the ones that you should be focusing, right? Follow where the money is. And these are the one. All right. Later on, when Zach comes in, we were going to look at those counter in here. So we're going to look at the uh, smart money tracking system, which is the Pentagon. Some of you are first time uh, listening in here. So we're going to explain about how smart money acts like a, like a compass where it generates a buy and sell signal. Shall we? Is this okay? Is this okay? Give me a thumbs up. All right. Okay, good. So by looking at the in here, definitely one of the counters actually is uh, right now is top glove. You can see top glove, when the green panel comes out, uh, this all the red one, you, you want to stay out. And when the green panel comes in, you want to get back in again. All right. So right now you can see a uh, Pentagon uh, with the green buy has uh, positive rates about uh, winning rates about 67%. And uh, so far out 12 trades, okay, 67 winning rates. And then you have D Pharma also uh, making higher here, has a 75 chance of, of, of winning with eight trades based on our back testing in here. So uh, D Pharma in here. So you, you will send three out oh, four times uh, correct with D Pharma, okay? Uh, so very simple things, you will make money. And then Notion VTech, okay, has a 60% in here and very nice trade, long period of control. Now this is where I wanna come in and share with you how to read this kind of trades in here. All right, so going into deeper, how Pentagon Guider works, all right, is to look at the smart money. So in here, when the green Pentagon comes in, which is built in for you, so you don't have to learn, but I'm going to go through some of the algorithm of some of the, the, the philosophy behind it, which what Tom shared with me, Tom Williams. Huh? So you can see green Pentagon here, red Pentagon, uh, you, you buy here and you sell here, you made a 36% return. But what really works is this gentleman in here, okay? The father of volume spread analysis, Tom Williams. Now, in the in the perspective of this, of, because we don't know when the general election is coming. So it's very important that you study those counter that we talk about, okay? Uh, I think right now you can see uh, it's coming down, the accumulation phase, okay? Study the accumulation phase. This is the beginner's guide because 80% of the volume that you see uh, are controlled by smart money. And this is what, Tom told me. So during these accumulation stages, you can see volume going up and going down. So we're going to be looking at it. Is this okay so far? All right. You like this accumulation stage, right? Because I want to go through and give you some principle behind it, not just look at the counter. At least you get some value off from that. Is this okay? Do let me know. Okay. Just type yes. All right. Then we're just going to move on. Okay. Good. So First of all, how does it work? The beginner's guide to the Pentagon Guider in here. Differentiate between smart money and dumb money. Smart money will always begin the accumulation during the accumulation stage, okay? This is where uh, they will release a lot of news, things like that, or no news at all, right? Dumb money, do they buy when there's no news? What do you think? Do dumb money buy when there's no news? Okay, do buy, dumb money buy when there's no news? Right? No, they always want to buy when there's good news, right? So this is where the smart money, the smart money operator could be, you know, uh, some of them politically linked, right? And they will use this kind of news to their advantage. So differentiate between dumb money and smart money. You and me, we belong to the dumb money, but we have to think like a smart money, so we follow them. So the Pentagon Green Guider picks up from the stock 
where the first bar likely to move out. This is where it's likely to move out here. Okay, this is the part where you want it to break out and then you move out. But during this stage, we want to study it. And I think this is where my trainer, Zach, is going to show you a lot, a lot of examples. And some of you can also ask him too after this. Okay, so also notice the low volume in here. This is where we get a little bit of low volume, low volume, right? Where they will start to buy, be buying small quantity, very small quantity, and to disguise their whole scheme. So because they're buying in small quantity, they don't want to cause the breakout because they are the biggest guys inside there. So it takes them a some time to accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. And that's why we want to say going unnoticed by the start smart money operator. Very important in here, right? Uh, so some people say talk about swim with the sharks, right? Uh, swim with the sharks, don't swim with the sharks. <laughs> they will eat you up. You want to follow the smart money. You want to study the volume in here, all right? The low volume in here. And that's what Tom told me, the father of uh, VSA in here. All right, now this is a part where I said earlier on, uh, draw, get a pencil. Can you all get a, uh, a pencil and the ruler now? Get uh, get the picture, what I've shown you, draw the conceptual map for the accumulation stages that we just talked about. Can you all draw that, Linda? All right, can you all draw that, okay? Okay, just take one minute to draw it. Can you all do it? Tell me your drawing, please. If you're drawing, just type draw, okay? So I'll make sure you're doing the homework. This is the only exercise I have for you guys, okay? What does, how does the accumulation phase look like? Okay, just type draw. And nobody drawing, are you all, all sitting there? Huh? I got more than so many people watching, but nobody drawing, nobody doing. Ah, good, we have Javen, thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Well done, well done. So let's move on uh, to, to our answers, okay? Now, your drawing should look like this, <laughs> okay? Your drawing should look like this, okay? If you have a drawing like this, give yourself a pet, okay? Uh, give yourself a pet. This is, a, I'm going to explain how the uh, the accumulation stages look like because these are the, at least a little bit of exercise before Zach come in and then you can ask him more about it, okay? So here is very important. We're going to add on to what we call uh, framing the uh, framing the picture, okay? Framing the trade, framing the setup, okay? Framing the setup. And this is something uh, which you use a lot in uh, Wyckoff. So if you look here, right, uh, you can see this. Ah, all right. This is where it is. One, okay? Number one, number three, these are what we call support points. Number two, number four are what we call resistant point. Okay, this is important. You can take a picture of this one in here. Basically, just tell you the principle. Uh, one and three need to be, uh, there's always support right? And two and four is the resistance. So the market will go through a period of no news, low volume accumulation, supported. Remember, we talked about the support at 120 and 2 and 15 cents just now, right? So you're going to be ranging at this point. But very important is one thing we'll initiate is the shakeout. You always have a shakeout. A shakeout is always there before the breakout, all right? And the breakout is where Pentagon will pick up. So remember, we, we are not able to watch the entirety of the phase one, because it will take weeks and months. This whole period here will take between weeks and months. So it has to have these six points before we take the trade. And green pentagon, which is the pentagon here, the buy will come at six, okay? So one and three, the support, two and four, the resistance, and then five will be the shakeout. Zach will talk, and shakeout, sometimes we call it a washout where they go and chuchi it. There is a lot of time uh, we have to, get shaken out because of our stop loss, right? What happened if this one really turun turun all the way? Because the volume can be very, very high, all right? And uh, what does that mean? It means we need to come back in again. We need to come back in. So unless the stock given us some validity or reason to get in, for me, it's always a good fundamental uh, reason that this, this something will perform. For example, uh, looking at the uh, top glove, there was a shakeout, wasn't it? Now remember, even look at Hatta. Hatta went up to $20, shake all the way down to uh, $14, right? And now climbing back to $18. So you see the point. There's always a shakeout, a washout, because right now, the smart money want to wash out all the dumb money, okay? So this is why it's important. And then this line that you see here, what is this line here? This red line. This is the resistance, right? This is the resistance. So once the resistance break out, 
you'll see the market move back up in here. So in the commission stage, how, uh, how trade BSA works is that they look at all six points with the shakeout, the breakout, and you will have the markup. So from here onwards, from number six onwards here, this is where the market will start marking. So those are one of the principles that we want to share with you here, all right? So right now, I'm going to bring in uh, my very good trainer, Zach. Uh, he does the 9.30 session. I think many of you uh, are no stranger to his show in here. And I told him specifically to talk about the stage one accumulation and some of his favorite traits that we have, all right? And uh, I uh, he will spend uh, about half an hour with you and I will come back and give you some summary and what counter to look at, all right? So with that ado, I'll pass on to Zach. All right. Zach, you there, Zach? Okay, Zach is in. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Martin, for the uh, sessions earlier on. Okay, we'd like to do a sound check, please. Okay, is my sounds coming okay before before I start? Okay, so uh, later we go through some counters. Okay, like Martin mentions, okay, uh, you know, shake out something is very important, especially when you look into. Uh, you know, a stock before breakout. Okay, so let's try today. Uh, if let's say we can find any stocks, but I'm going to go into uh, analyze a little bit first. Okay, so from there, uh, let's try whether we can get some um stocks. Okay, with with a shake up counters or not. Okay, so hello Arif. Okay, hello uh, Kalisto. Hello Eric. Hello Katie. Hello Dan. Hello uh, Madam Lou. Okay, hello William. Sounds good, right? Okay, so <clears throat> we start right now. So uh, I think it's the most classic shakeout currently that uh, I, as far as I can remember, actually there's a lot of shakeout counters, okay? But uh, unfortunately not all I can really recall currently, but the one that actually make me money, okay? After the, the shakeout, okay? Uh, is Iberhard, okay? So let's try Iberhard here. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Hari, or Jennifer. Hello, Victor. So here it goes, okay? Wow, the other day, another long bus day, okay? Now, uh, of course, here, are still doing some sort of like reaccumulations currently, but if you uh, pay attention, okay, on the previous bar before it breaks up. Now, this is the one that uh, I think just now Martin do draw, you know, the the shakeout patterns, okay, all these things before it like really breaks up above the, above the resistance, right? So over here, we have like a sideway, okay, a spring, a shakeout moving a sideway a little bit, a final shakeout over here, if you notice, okay? And uh, subsequently, it went higher and break up. <clears throat> so this is like a kind of similar, like, you know, uh, a chart patterns on what uh, Martin do show you earlier on, okay? By asking you to do the exercise, okay? So again, uh, I repeat something like this, going sideways, okay? The final shakeout, okay, dip below, push up, test it, and then it breaks, okay, something like this. And if, if you notice too, uh, the volume over here actually start to pick up with increasing volume. Now this is a fantastic volume before it break up. Okay, so this is the patterns that uh, most of the time, you know, during accumulations it will happen. Okay, so this is what it means by the shake up. So, okay, now let's look into some, uh, you know, stocks that maybe is worth up to pay our attention to. Now, uh, I know a lot of people will ask about ASB. Okay, so let's look into ASB again. I think Martin will cover it earlier on too. So, uh, well, high volume. Okay, high volumes here after a, a series of accumulations coming in. So now this is, again, if you pay attention to this, is actually got like a, a, a minor shakeout too, okay, in this chart over here. So if you zoom in a little bit, of course, this is before this happened, okay, before the, the breakout happens, right? So... Uh, if you notice too, you know, these two bars here, actually, it tried to close low, okay? All this is a spring, again, for those of who know about uh, volume spread analysis, uh, for those that who understand how VSA works, okay? So, sometimes we use SP areas, okay, which is a spring areas, as our support, because this is a uh, uh, areas that, you know, uh, are removing all the weekend holders before they make the breaks, okay? So, here, two bars dropping below, okay, before the final move, by breaking a book, so here, 
breaking above high volume, tested low volume, breaking above and tested low volume. So uh seems like it's like a healthy pullback at this moment. Okay, of course, uh at this time, okay, we need more confirmation with uh a, a barrier sound strength. Okay, so how, usually what we do we check okay, I, I will check on the hourly chart. So uh definitely if you look in the hourly chart here, uh this is high volume sounds bar. <clears throat> Okay, so representing a weakness in, in the charts there. So, uh, of course, here yeah, I prefer to have more sound strengths. Okay, by looking into spring and SA uh, signals, okay, to help me to confirm the trades. Okay, so I think SB still, still got chance, okay, but uh, you need to trade carefully. Okay, afraid they will make a, a lower pullbacks, okay, before they break up above again. All right. So, okay, now let's focus a little bit more on the uh, NS. Okay, so let's try whether we can look for oh okay actually friday got like uh got a few of these kind of good ns okay now one of the ns that uh actually caught my attention is of course rexit okay for members i do post out rexits okay uh, uh the other days uh danko too okay now uh msd okay now mscb the style i think kind of nice but i think the price is a bit uh slightly a bit expensive definitely uh not very really suitable for those that who are looking for short-term trading, okay, but I think you can try to explore a little bit more on um, their warrants, okay, I think that warrants you can, so also I think Macquarie got their new warrants, okay, for MSCB, so a uh, nice one NS, okay, followed by a, a breakout in the same time, uh, we got we got a shakeout in between still, okay, now sometimes shakeout do takes time, okay, shakeout do takes time, okay, like for example, over here, if you look into these areas, okay, now, sometimes shake out, it happened in, in a few bars, okay? Uh, deep two days, it goes up, right? So some of them is like, goes up, make a big pullbacks, okay? Hanging above this, uh, be just below the support areas, okay? Push back up support, and then it, it breaks above higher, okay? So uh, I do see a similarities, okay? So I don't know, let's see whether your know, mega first got any chance for us, okay? But like I say, if you are looking for like short-term trading, I think you can try to some of this warn okay i think mccoy warn is kind of pretty new okay you can check out on the heat map uh heat map on the website okay so uh well inari let's try inari is one of my uh favorite counters <clears throat> okay and now we got ns okay so ns okay a, a, a slightly low volume okay so ns over here uh well seems like it's still supported pretty well okay now now ns this is more uh, a better and quality ns okay because the volume is like drop okay now this is decreasing okay so but the best part is that the the, the next day which is yesterday closing the bar come in even higher volume okay so let's try others cbip okay let's try cbip okay now this is a bit illiquid now. so no for this Focus number, but focus number is in downtrend. <laughs> okay, let's try focus number. Okay, downtrending, not really interested. Now, uh, I think for now, some of you, let's say you're looking for healthcare counters and growth counters, okay, I think it's worth to pay a little more attention to it. Okay, um, your know, chart like comfort. Okay. Anyway, I, I kind of like to trade using using the NS, okay? Uh, of course, in between, I will look for some shakeout patterns, okay? If, let's say, it happens uh, during these accumulations areas, okay? So, uh, volume is picking up. Now, this is what I mean. I'm looking for something like this, okay? Uh, price tested, moving higher, okay, with a NS, okay? So, this is what we call the shakeout areas, okay, before it break up further, okay? So, hopefully, we'll see soon, but definitely lots of counters right now. Especially, I say, especially on healthcare or glove, okay, they actually come in very, very nice NS patterns, okay, or NS setups, okay. So, example here, uh, this is uh, Cool Sun, okay, uh, last actually, last one actually, they got already, sorry, early of this week, oh, sorry, early of this month, okay, we got one NS followed by another NS. Now, seems like uh, it's still trying to go to the resistance, okay, so, so the first resistance would be here, followed by this resistance. Okay, so take uh take note on that. Okay, so whenever you you see NS most of the time, uh it kind of give you a very good and soft solid uh type of um support level. Okay, I think Supermax having that too. 
okay, Supermax 2 NS and break him out higher. Again, who knows? Maybe we will see more NS, okay, from this trade. Okay, let's try Top Glove. Okay, Top Glove don't have NS, okay? So, uh, I think Kosan slightly better, okay? Because the, the two uh, very obvious uh, NS bars over there, okay? Hata don't have it too. So, so far, only Kosan and uh, Supermax having NS. So, as long as I know there's NS, I know where's my stop loss, okay? So, you can plan the trade according, accordingly, accordingly, okay? So, uh, if you look into the HLT, current having it too, okay? Now, NS over here. Breaking up, this is a super high volume, okay? It's not a very super high volume, but it's a fantastic volume, okay? So two bar low volume. So let's try on the uh, only chart, okay? Our chart now is turns to the uh, red pentagon, okay? which is normal. They are doing a pullbacks. So the next green pentagon should able to give you a good entry, okay? So what I do, usually I set my alerts there and I park my alerts on the volumes too. So once it hits certain volumes, Okay, it hits certain price that I know most of the time you have the green pentagon. So that's where that uh, I want to enter, okay, without being trapped during the uh, pullbacks. Okay, so example here, uh, break up, pullbacks, green pentagon, then we have a rally. Okay, at least you want to do a quick trading uh, in for 10, 15% within one or two days, should be fine. Okay, so use these methods to do it. Okay. What is NS? Okay, now, sorry about that for those that maybe who joining us for the first time, uh, maybe I didn't really explain what is NS. But uh, NS is type of sound strength, okay? For those that who don't know, uh, the green arrow pointing out is sound strength, the red arrow pointing down is sound of weakness. Of course, uh, we use the trend to help us. Green tra uh, green pentagon uh, is showing the trend is uptrending. Red pentagon is showing the trend is downtrending, okay? So what it means by NS? So NS, okay, if you look into my screen here, it just means uh, no supply, okay? So technically no supply means that the particular areas come with less sellers or no sellers. So again, no sellers, which means it's, it's easier, okay, for the smart money to try the resistance or break higher to the resistance, okay? So we trade when there is no seller in the markets. Okay, hopefully I answer your question. So if you look into Carrex too, <clears throat> Okay, Carex to NS, and as you can notice, right, NS form pretty good support. Okay, but of course, uh, I prefer NS come with green pentagons in the background. Okay, like for example, if let's say, uh, if you realize your background still in red zone, okay, which means in down trending counters, uh, down trending areas, even though it, the NS won't help, okay, but once it turns to green, you 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 become a very solid support for you. Like for example, NS. Oh, sorry, Green Pentagon and S, at least they can break up further. Okay, they can break up further. Ocean Cash too, let's try. Now, actually, got a lot of, lots of this, uh, or Ocean Can don't have it, okay? But if you check others, uh, healthcare counter, I think mostly they're having, having NS, okay? So just uh, plan your trade according to the NS. I think so, at least you, it will give you uh, a really good risk to reward, okay? K Powers, okay, one of the stocks that uh, we mentioned is the, in, the, in the members groups there. So while well, against NS, definitely uh, it helped me to build, uh, at least give me a confidence that, okay, support is there already. Okay, support is there already. And it actually tested hanging around with the 2040, give me a, a, a better confirmation and confidence. Okay, that tells me that, okay, there's a, a strong support areas that uh, we should monitor. Okay, of course, uh, the bar from Friday is coming with slightly average volume. Okay, so best is that for those that who haven't entered, I want to try to say this, okay. If let's say it dropped with low volume, okay, on, on Monday, okay, I think it's a good area for me to look for entry, okay. As long as for me, like I say, uh, the reason why I need NS, okay, to help me to look for my risk, okay. Uh, assuming, okay, assuming Monday, if let's say it really dropped to 1.26, okay, and, and entered, right. So I, I use this NS in my stop loss. I only need to risk 4% for my trades. Okay, so let's say it hit my resistance here. <clears throat> okay, it give me around like 11%. Okay, so risk to reward easily, I can get one over two, one over three. Okay, if you know your stop loss, okay, you know where is your stop loss, okay. So uh, <clears throat> that's the one, okay, so that's the one. So uh, K power, for those that who have entered, I don't know, okay, Monday maybe will give us a, a, a good, areas for enter okay again i don't know let's see how it goes okay so nggb having that too but nggb come with weakness on friday okay so this is uh 
uh, things that we look for. But at least what I'm trying to say here is that if you enter near NS, you know, even though it dropped back to here, you exit with no losses. You exit with small losses. You exit with small profit. Okay, some of our members already took profit at the resistance. Okay, took, took half already, right? So, okay, here NS. Okay, strong supports. Okay, so at least you see weakness, then you exit. Okay, 5%, uh, 4%, just exit first. Okay, then we look for other trades. Okay, now let's continue to look for some stocks to trade for Monday. Okay, now we got uh, at least, you know, highlighted by uh, Mr. Hari there. K Power, right? K Power strong. Uh, NS, okay, hopefully, uh, you know, it gives us a very good entry on a Monday. So, at least we've got a, a better chance. Okay, so now let's try good way. Okay, good way. And that's two. See, at just exactly a support. Okay, just exactly a support. So that's why I like to trade NS. Okay, most of the time. So over here, NS, another NS. Okay, exactly a support. Okay, so if you buy at the areas, okay, so uh, I don't know what, what's wrong with buy at the areas, right? Okay, so here, if let's say I managed to get 70 cents, Okay, if let's say cut below my NS areas, let's try. 5%, okay, I risk it around like 5% for these trades, okay. So, uh, remember if you take care of your risk, uh, the, the risk will take care of your rewards, okay. So, home rates, okay, breaking up further the other day. NS, breaking up further, okay, trying to cross the resistance already. Now, uh, some of you might ask, okay, uh, is it applicable in the hourly chart? Yes, applicable in hourly charts too, if you spot the NS signals. Okay, so uh, at least we got a few currently. Uh, let's try, uh, let's see whether, you know, home rates will give us a, a good price or not. Okay, just like K-Power, we, we know there's NS there. But uh, the next thing is that I want to see, is the price okay for me to enter? Okay, make sure you don't risk, usually I don't risk more than like 8% uh, or 12% for one of my trades, okay? So PCC has another interesting uh, counter still, NS there, breaking uh, here, NS, now seems like, you know, they are doing another rounds of uh, reaccumulations, okay? So okay, what you learned just now from Marty, uh, if you see shake up, I think it will help to, to enter on the trades, okay? So now, definitely the NS is being support, okay? So let's park my others there. Uh, usually this is what I do, I look for, and 15, 20 NS counters. Okay, I just pop my alerts there. Whenever who hit first, I go for the counter. Whenever break up already, that I don't chase because I know the risk to real is not there. So that's why I don't want to chase. So right now I got like a easy four to five counters parking under um near my NS. I got PCCS, I got uh, KGB, I got I got good weight, okay. A few others like home bridge also. Okay, so once it drop, hit my NS and I just gonna to buy at the NS series. Okay, uh, let's go through some of the stocks that you, you have for me. Okay, let's oh, try no, Comfort. No. I think I just go through Comfort, right? Okay, go through Comfort. Okay, I think Comfort is okay. Uh, still in accumulations there. Okay, so low volume on these two days. Okay, let's look into hourly chart. Seems the daily chart didn't give us a, a lot of information. Okay, Red Pentagon is there already. So which means potentially might start some uh, pullbacks, okay, on Monday. So if you want to go for a trade again, what you do, <clears throat> look for green pentagons, okay? For members, okay, look for green pentagons, okay? Uh, <clears throat> don't worry about the red pentagons in, in the hourly chart sometimes, okay? Because some members say, hey, hey what happens to uh, red pentagon in, in, in the hourly chart? They panic. Most important, you look in the daily first. If daily is still in green, don't worry, okay? Don't worry because, uh, uh, I mean, stock one go up 45 degrees, okay, in a straight line. So they will make some zigzag pullbacks in between, right? So <clears throat> don't worry about this, okay? So once you see red pentagons, okay, look for the green pentagon for the entry. If you haven't entered yet, okay? Assuming if you haven't entered yet. So uh, let's try here. This is my preference entry areas. 4.4, okay, hopefully. Okay, 4.4, then I'm going to monitor. Got green pentagons on there, and go, I'm going to go for it, okay? So uh, any other counters? <clears throat> Any other counters? Okay, so let's try Geo Ocean. <clears throat> okay, let's again. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think about this chart? Uh, who is the one asking this? Uh? Uh, who is the one asking Lisa? Right, Lisa. Okay, so 
uh, hopefully you are not looking for exit. Okay, hopefully you are not looking for exit. But if you ask me looking for entry, no setup at all. Okay, I don't see setup at all. Okay, first of all, it's easy. This is red. Okay, again, what it means by the red pairing on downtrending. Now, you know, this is downtrending counters. Okay, unless you tell me that this counter is come with very good fundamental and, uh, you know, uh, you know, it, 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 it give you a very good FA uh, or DVD or, or whatever. But in terms of technical uh, analysis or VSA here, mm -hmm. I don't see any reason why I should enter. Okay. Now we got NS here. Okay. Again, NS. Okay. Now you might ask me, Zach, you said NS is pretty good, but why it cannot break up, right? Easy because this is down trading color. Like I say, I only trade when there is an NS in green pentagon areas. Okay. Like for example here, green pentagons, green pentagons, I'm going to trade. If not, Forgot about it. Okay. So, okay. KPS. Let's try. <clears throat> KPS. Okay. Um, oh, there's a distribution here. Well, a bit scared. Eh? <laughs> but again, I don't know whether are you looking for entry or exit. Okay. If you are looking for exit, okay, which you have already entered, monitor this NS bar. Okay, so yes, this is in red pentagon, but at least the 2040 is pointing up. I, I mean, at this moment, still uptrend. Huh? At this moment, still uptrend. Okay, but I afraid they'll turn to downtrend soon. Okay, because of the big uh, volume over here with the distribution bar. Okay, again, the bar pointing down is weakness. Okay, especially when the bar pointing down comes with high volume, uh, it becomes more impactful. <clears throat> okay, it become more impactful. So, NS in this area is the best one. Okay, because this is come with. Uh, green pentagon and s breaking up okay so you enjoy the short-term profits there okay over here you need to be careful okay once this is the bar how much is the low and s low is 725 okay so 720 you need to you need to cut okay 720 you really you you need to you need to just exit from the market okay because i afraid that <clears throat> there is a change in the in the trends there because of the this bar okay is it's a settings bar, okay, with a with a big volumes there. Okay, so let me know. Uh, <clears throat> is this okay so far? You know the 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 explanation of charts, everything. You know some things today. If yes, have to buttons have to please. Okay. So okay, uh, let's try a few more before I pass back to to Martin's uh, rubber rex. Okay, let's try rubber rex. Rubber rex make it higher. Okay. So again, if you're able to spot this, will be best. Yeah, green pentagon. Now, okay, for those that who are using Smart Ruby or our members, our new members, okay, I think the easiest way for you to learn about VSA, look for the NS. Okay, I, I for for members, I have a list of back testing for you to do. Uh, if you're interested to do the the exercise, okay, uh, let me know. I will PM you. I, I will send the list to you. Then uh, we will go to the we will go into the explanation on the back testing. Uh, and the learnings okay on the Saturday member training. Okay, next Saturday, 2 to 4 p.m. is our member trainings. So I will go, I will go through okay the, the list again. So this is uh for those that who didn't receive it, uh this is a list I prepared for you all to do some homeworks. Okay, so take some time, okay. I think two or three hours should be okay really to 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 finish all the list over here. So from here, then uh that's where I go to explain on how you're going to run your trades. How you going to look for a setup? What is the advantages to, to following the rules? What is the disadvantages to following the rules? Okay, so that you understand better. Okay, so again, my 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 rules is pretty simple. Uh, NS above twenty forty or green pentagon. That's it. Three things, and I trade. Okay, and I run my result. That's it. Okay, so so far Robert X is doing pretty well. Okay, again, if you ask me, hey, is it okay to buy or not? I don't know because the best entry is here. Okay, now you are risking a little bit because if you buy now, it might make a pullback before it goes up. Okay, if you are looking for exit, okay. Uh, of course, I don't see the reason why to exit because there's no much weakness. But if you want to take profit, can. Okay, again, price will pull back. It won't go up 45 degrees. Okay, if you are looking for like short terms, I think I think it's okay. You can take some profit for now. Okay, now if you want to look for short term, maybe open up the hourly chart. Okay, from hourly chart here, Look for more signals, okay? So it seems like lot, lots of cluster closes, okay? Lots of cluster closes in between, okay? So kind of good, kind of good, because lots of COC. <clears throat> Hong Seng, Eric, this uh, Singapore counters, Hong Seng. 
Oh, sorry, this is M uh, Malaysia Counters, right? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I didn't really. But he got WhatsApp the Siong Tong. Okay, need to mute Martin off. Uh. Okay. Now, I don't really focus in this counters before because I know her about this counter to be frank. But uh, seems okay. Okay, seems okay. Uh, low volumes here. But of course, the green panel will help me out to confirm that. Okay, if I look into this chart, uh, Eric, okay, it's kind of similar IQ group. Put into a watch list, okay? I think it's okay. I think it's fine. Just that uh, IQ group is straightforward because it, it testing COC above the 2040s, okay? But somehow Hong Sing uh, didn't, okay? But let's try one more uh, green pentagon bar will help, okay? Will help, okay? So keep it in the watch list, okay? It's good. Um, okay, last one, Danko, before I pass back to Martin. Okay, hopefully you all learned some things today. Okay, hopefully you all learned some things, right? Okay, uh, Danko. Okay, Danko, 2040s, green pentagons. Uh, sorry, green pentagon turns because of the white, uh, white spread bar. So this is the time that we wanted to use the hourly chart to help us. Okay, so hourly charts, green is here, breaking up, NS. NS. Okay, now red pentagon is coming. Oh, now red pentagon is coming, which means what? Potentially there's a pullback is coming in. Okay, but this is a, a, a kind of nice NS areas. Okay, so maybe they're tested here before it goes up. So again, use your NS as your um, as your uh, this you know uh, support level. Okay, as a support level. Okay, do you need one more? <laughs> need one more counters? May I know what software are you using? Okay, so live, uh, we are using our platform is Trading View, but the system is Trade VSA systems. Okay, so we are using uh one spread analysis methods. Okay, uh, one last one uh, before we go. Uh, Wong, uh, okay, I think someone asked me about Wong Engineering because Wong Engineering, I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, it comes with pullback patterns. It comes with pullback patterns. Okay. So here, let's open up the chart. Oh, big up trust the other day. Okay. So, okay. Uh, this is easy to follow. Okay. If you got the smart ruby, you follow the green pentagons to trade because pullback, you should follow the green pentagons to trade. Okay. So here, green pentagon goes up, pullback in between. Continuation. Now we got a, uh, we got a uh, uh, red pentagons areas. Okay. A big up trust too. So sometimes you have to be careful on high volume beauty. Okay. So look for the next uh, signal to enter on the pullbacks after competing on the pullbacks, okay? But trend still good, just that, you know, the, the UT is here a bit worry because of the high volume. So the green pentagon, the next green pentagon helps, okay, to help you to enter more confidence. All right, so, okay, so uh, if, uh, I think that's all, okay? So I think I'll pass back to you, Martin. Hopefully you all like it and uh, hopefully you'll learn some things today. All right, thank you, Zach. Experience. So uh, you bring the screen back to me. I'll share screen on my side. Okay. All right, thanks a lot. That is one of our trainer, uh, which you know uh, have learned over time. And Zach, Zach has been with us, the company, uh, for uh, several years before he learned it. Now, like it or not, all of us have to learn our trade. You will not get it completely quickly just like i'm explaining the accumulation stages right you will not get it for the for the first time so it'll take some time to learn and what we did uh, like zach said they will share with you back testing of course some of you who wanted to learn more you can join our program i will talk a bit our program but before that uh, let me just do a bit of summary is that okay i'll do a summary what zach has uh, mentioned just now is it okay if it's okay just because I want you guys to learn. Very important today is for you all to learn. At least when you all go back, you know, uh, when you come next next week for a free talk, you learn something. Is it okay? Just time in. Is okay? Uh, yeah. Jivan asked why there are three colors for Pentagon. Uh, long, short, and short covering. I hope I answer your question. Is it okay? Uh, just time in a summary. Okay. So number one, first one is that, uh, ah, very important. Uh, Zach talked about a few stocks. Uh, FFCB and Inari are two nicely okay uh, maybe i draw this up a bit uh, nicely set up chart for, okay let me just do a word wrap here okay for next week trading uh, okay 
for a start, okay? So this is how we look at it. Now, like it or not, we were talking about political counters and so forth. But again, the end game, where is the opportunity coming from? So you can see we use our tools, okay? Next thing he, he talks about the NS. Now, NS stands for no supply, okay? No supply, which, which is uh, uh, our Pentagon guider sign of strength. Okay, and now uh, which have about more than 80% win rates, winning rates. Okay, it's one of our, our so-called premium and in this thing, Zach just shared with you how to use those win rates. Of course, those of you who, how many of you are interested to learn more about NS? Just type it in there. If you're interested to learn more about NS, just type NS. Could you do that? Okay, and uh, let me just give you a few summary, NS. And he also talked about uh, uh, NS and what's the other one is the shakeout, okay? Now, shakeout. Okay, is a trade that okay that happened before the market marks higher. Okay, and sometimes higher they can go twenty to thirty percent, right? Because they want to shake you out, chuchi chuchi. Okay, great, great. Some of you are NS are, are looking want to learn more, man. But very important. I just want to sort of you know uh, press it in here, and then next we use our our trade VSA. Okay. Uh, and as screener, okay, to look for those for those shares, okay, and which is part of our educational package, okay, package, okay. Uh, so it's one of those trade for our members, and we have also remember Zach talk about what back testing, okay, back testing, back testing, and as exercises. Okay, for members, okay, so they learn faster and make less mistakes. Okay, so this is also important because once you do a lot of those exercises, and you and that's one of the things we do every Wednesday is to hear you repeat, keep listening, just like your old mother or your father keep telling you why you don't clean the dishes, why you don't do, you know, by repetition. Okay, so five point one. So through repetition. Okay, okay, repetition. Okay, we learn faster and make more uh, profits. Okay, so hopefully, you know, that's that's what we hope for. So by repetition, that's what that's what I do. Okay, what else? What else? Uh, uh, back testing and okay, we use finally, of course, those of you who want to, we use Pentagon either. Okay, the green buy and red sell uh, to pinpoint. Our, our trade entry, okay? okay? So this are the summary that I want to I want to go on. So it makes you much, much better. And yeah, thank you, thank you for those of you who want to learn about uh, NS Screener in here, okay? I'll, I'll probably give you a bit more information on that. So that's the, the summary that I wanted to go. Okay, you can take a picture of this one in too. All right, so you guys will, will learn, okay? Okay, is it okay to go on? Can I go on to the next uh, thing? I don't want to take you too long. We're already 3.30 right now, okay? <laughs> we promise we'll let you off, okay? Actually, more on number six. Oh, the green uh, Pentagon, uh, we have a tutorial for that one, okay? We have a tutorial for that one, and uh, you can go and watch the... Uh, let me just bring out one more slide here for you. Huh? Hang on, huh? I'll just bring this out here. So let me just bring out one slide for you here and uh, pretty much sum up the whole thing. Okay. So this is the QR code. Can you see the screen right now? Can you see the screen? How come buy in green, not red? Oh, we buy in green, we don't buy at red. Uh, green to buy, red. Banyak mm. untung ke? Yeah, pretty good. Again, uh, so this is what uh, just a summary of all things we talk about because we only have two hour session. I don't want to focus so much on the two, but focus above the, the bigger level. You can see green is up signal, red is down signal, 
And this is a QR code. So you can go over and watch the QR code, which is a VSA tutorial for nine minutes long. You can scan it in there and it's a full tutorial. So we have uh, no supply, line change, spring test and all this. So that pretty much cover what it, of course, if you want to learn more, we have a package for you, a very good one, uh, which is part of an education, which I'm going to go on here. Okay. So at the end of it, you know, just want to share with you here uh, what it would say. Now, this is Bruce Lee, one of my favorite movie stars, you know, what are, you know. Uh, so he says that instead of buying things, like many of you said, you know, uh, I want to learn about NS. That's a great screener. And just now I'll just show you uh, the, the summary that we have here, right? Remember this? These are all the, the signal that we talk. These are all knowledge, okay? But material wear out. No point I give you money, isn't it? I mean, if I give you 50 ringgit, Tomorrow, how? Of course, somebody said, hey, Martin, can you give me more? I don't want 15 gig. Uh, why don't you give me a fish? So we give you a, we can give you a stock tip. All right. Just now we go back up. Let me, you know, okay, to bring my, my coffee here. Now, MRCB and uh, Inari are two, oh, sorry, you can't see. Yeah? So let me just bring this down a bit. Okay. So MRCB are two, two uh, Inari, what Zach just picked it up from our screen, uh, are two nicely set up charts, right? Those are, in my opinion, those are material. Those, those are material, but what we want to do is really giving you the knowledge. I hope you all understand what I'm saying. And you're, I'm sure you're taking it uh, ne next week. Uh, MRCB, very nice next week. So now you see this, this is Bruce Lee also. He also have uh, Sifu. You all know this, this gentleman here? Anybody know this gentleman here? All right. Okay, anybody know this gentleman? I'm sure you all know this gentleman, right? Yeah, okay. The Bruce, not Bruce Martin. Uh, uh, Okay, he is Yip Man. He's the founder, okay, uh, from Wing Chun, okay. So like it or not, I also learn my Kung Fu. Uh. Uh, I didn't learn Wing Chun, uh, I don't know how to fight, uh, uh, but stock market, I know, uh, right? And Zach, Arif, Fu, all these are the students. Okay? So I also learn from a Sifu, right, to be frank with you. And he's more famous, uh, this guy, uh, Yip Man, okay. Yip Man more famous. Nobody know the old man, they know the young guy on the, on the bottom there, right? So this is my point here. Now, my point is, just like, you know, uh, the Kung Fu, Wing Chun belongs to the Ip Man. But in the stock market, what Zach showed you, how we are pick up stock like MRCB, Inari, how they, I also learned from, from Tom Williams. Okay, uh, I have to say, you know, this, this old gentleman, uh, share with me, go back and, and really teach, you know, your countrymen how to look at the market and you never have to worry about the rice bowl. So, okay. Uh, Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. So this is where I have to, you know, look at a lot of stocks and over the years we, we, we developed it. Of course, going forward, I think during this COVID, you need to ask yourself, you know, what am I doing this uh, COVID? And we, we talk about, you know, the period to the first end of this month and uh, what do you do? So in the past, we used to do classroom like you see in, in the picture on top, but now we are moving to Zoom. No matter where you are now, just tell me where are you listening from? It's MFCB, okay? MFCB, okay, mega first. Okay, make sure, Kun, you got the right stock. Huh? Now, okay, uh, where are you listening from? Uh, can you share with me where you're listening from? I forgot to ask you guys. Okay, where are you listening from? I, um, I, if you're in slang, I know you're all locked down. Already. Okay, just let me know where you're listening from, okay? Hmm. Okay, just let me know where you're listening from. I think the whole point is that during this COVID, we must learn to grow, okay? You must learn to grow and we learn to find a purpose What's the end game, which I talk about, you know, the Captain America end game. End game is to make money consistently. Just like what Tom shared with me, the end game, you know, uh, all, all things being there. Okay. Oh, Moa, thank you from home slang. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. So we do our Zoom. So we, we have this one day foundation course, uh, not too expensive, that's for sure. Uh, it will be on the 31st of August, where we have two of my coaches. Uh, you met one of them uh, for the first time, Arif and Zach. So we, we, we'll be talking about the you know, potential hidden buying way, all those. Definitely one of them we, we talk about today is NS and also shake out who are the smart money, how to read the volume. Uh, the risk to reward trade, which we didn't go chance. If you have spent another three or four more hours, Zach were able to go through all this risk and also the psychology and the trade setup. So that is happening on Zoom from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. plus one year of, of our so-called follow-up and coaching with the, all the tools that you want so some of you who type NS and uh, uh, any may want to learn, you know, like the Wing Chun, you know. Uh, so this is the, the one for us, okay? Uh, 31st of October, so end of the month, if you want to consider. Uh, there's a number there, okay? Uh, Zach is going to be there, okay? A Chinese version, uh, <laughs> it, we, we conduct everything in English, okay? We conduct everything in English, but Zach can speak Mandarin. Probably can speak but not so good. Uh, he can speak, but all our indicators 
are very easy to understand. Okay, 31st October. So if you're interested, we, we, we're not going to sort of really hard sell or whatever if you're interested, learn or not, or if not, just use the smart Roby. All our smart Roby charts has the green and buy signal. And also the tutorial is all free there. Okay, so we have our coaches in here. We do a lot of Zoom. And when the condition is good, we'll come back to our master class. We do face-to-face, -face. all right? So thing to share with you now, this is a very interesting story. Talk about the billionaire. Uh, during this uh, COVID-19, he lost 41 million. And he said that he was a founder. He's a very rich man. I regret I began trading before understanding enough about the practice of smart money. And uh, this is a Japanese guy. So you can see no knowledge, lose money, okay? So just like, you know, we've we given you two trades here. Let me just bring it back here again, right? Uh, uh, MFCB, Inari, uh, two nicely set up trade. Uh, use NS, okay? 80% chance of winning. Shake out of the trades. And once they, you know, shake out, the market start to move up 20 to 30%, it's, it's very possible. And NS screener, it, it's the one that we want to do with it. Of course, doing back testing is very important. Huh? So you back test, you learn faster, repetition, okay? And then Green Pentagon, this one is actually uh, free, okay? Free with Smart Roby. Okay, so this one already given you free. So so it's it's very simple in here. All right, okay, going back. So then there's, an, if you look at another guy, this is CSA trader. Uh, this is a volume spread analysis trader. Now his name is CSA trader. He made 34 million when the market crashed, you know, because he was able to read the market. Just like you saw those, huh? Zach talked about, you know, uh, the, there's one count I remember, climatic volume, right? Sell off, you can short the market. Like this fellow, you can short the market, you make the money, all right? So that's the difference between people who's educated and not. Okay, and he started learning trading since university. So like us, we are practitioner uh, of VSA, uh, like Wing Chun, okay? We practice VSA inside, yeah. All right, sure, sure, Jennifer, for 31st October. Okay, and uh, we do have our December uh, uptake. Those of you who eventually want to go to the next level, the very basic one is for 31st October. We have a new way. That one will look at US market because the main one is coming up, all right? If not, continue to subscribe to all our YouTubes. They're all free, right? Having said that, Right, my last lesson to you is very simple. Don't buy cheaply and, and, and hold, you know. You buy favorable sectors, you know. We did talk about the political counters, okay, uh, all those. But right now, they don't have the setup. But if you are still interested, use the accumulation stages I teach you, the one, two, three, four, five, six. You all remember now, one, two, three, four, five, six markers. Can you remember? What is marker number five? Can you tell me what is marker number five? Uh, marker number five is what? Come on, I'm just teaching you one, two, three, four. What's market number five? <laughs> Cannot. Ah, shake out. Remember? Huh? So I just type this in here. Okay. Ah, and avoid the sunset industry. And else you won't say, you know, we, we talk about, you know, Metro. Some of you just said, right? Metro and, and Paxson also Mati, right? Because of the, the downside and star, you know, you have sunrise. Also, Kazana use our taxpayer money to go bail out uh, Echo World. But okay. Ah, shake out. Very good, very good. Y'all remember number five, ah, shake out. Okay, so these are, we, we want to do that. We want to avoid this kind of sunset industry. All right, so in summary, okay, let me just bring it back in, in here. All right, all right. So we just put, uh, I kurangkan I, sikit. I, so summary, let me just keep it here. Okay, we, oh, while political, okay, counter is good, wait for the accumulation uh, face and look for number five, okay, which is the shakeout, right? Before, okay, before, okay, before it break upside and easily, this is 20% return, okay? So while the political count is good, you see it for the, all the upside in here, all right? So that is important, the, the shakeout, uh, wait for number five, and that always comes, or else just use the green pentagon inside there, okay? Uh, I think very important, last one is, okay, all right? Have a Sifu who willing to share their techniques, okay? Techniques and tools that you can use 24 by seven and available in mobile, Okay, mobile and, and desktop. Okay. Uh, 
think it's also very important, the last message, uh, have a seafood. If you don't have a seafood, use us. Okay, uh, I'm sure you also have a lot of other seafood out there. Uh, you have seafood here, seafood there. It's okay, right? But be clear what you learn. I think end game, okay, number nine is what is your end game, okay? End game is what? Huh? End, end game is what? End game, yes, okay, to make money. But how? Safely, okay, very important. And to be sure of at least, okay, the required rate of return. Okay, okay? so end game is important. Yes, we want, all want to make money. I want to make money, you want to make money, but also safety too, isn't it? You go and whack one of those political counter, get stuck, what happened? Correct, isn't it, right? So this is why we, we say that, huh? have this, keep in mind, okay? So the nice summary that I have, you know, make sure you take a picture of this one, huh? okay? And I will save this for next time we'll review it back, which I think is quite important, all right? Then uh, that will be the lesson that you will learn for today, okay? So I'll just bring this up. So you hope you all like what you is, the, the summary I've done for you in here, we really go out to, to help you in here. Smart and safe, that's right, yeah, smart and safe. Because we need to have that required rate of return to, to make, make back the money. All right. So right now, as I said before, we have the Biden and the US. It's going to be very, very bullish, right? Going forward, uh, our mission market, we don't know yet now, but that's why we said in December, when we do the US market, some of you may be interested already, join us then. Okay. So meanwhile, if you have not joined our Telegram chat, we'll do chat uh, in there. I think we close today. Now it's almost, yeah, just 20 minutes to four. We managed to finish in one and a half hours time. Uh, Zach is going to be here uh, to... Uh, if you have any questions, uh, Zach will be here to answer you. Some of you are interested in our 31st uh, one-day course, which will be held over Zoom, right? Uh, that's the one you want to attend, right? And we are there for you. You can use all the tools, the NS tools, all there, okay? So thank you very much, Billy. Thank you. Safe and smart return. All right, Zach, we'll see you then, okay? You take over, Zach. Okay, thank you, Martin. So uh, let me know if, if you've got any other questions that you want me to uh, cover before we close or uh, any questions okay, relating to, to uh, the foundation course um, for this uh, next Saturday. Oh, sorry, not next Saturday. What is the date now? Oh, on uh, 1st October. Okay, what's the difference between uh, the foundation class and the December master class? Okay, so for a uh, December master class, we're actually going to include a uh, uh, in more advanced technique, like for example, uh, pullback methods, and we're going to include uh, futures market and uh, the the US market as well. So for the foundation class, we only focus on mainly on KRSC market, and we're gonna go through you know the the basic of BSA, what is our strength, what is our weakness. Uh, the market stages, okay, and and the sort of the techniques that you can use using our screeners here. <clears throat> okay, Cindy asks if uh, if I join one day class, can I get discount for the master class subsequently? Uh, well, actually, the price for the master class currently is uh is is uh, uh how how consider how early bit price uh, which is a four triple eight. Okay, so what you can do is that Cindy, let's say the sign for a four triple eight the master class. Okay, in December. Uh, you can get the master class, so you can get the foundation class, so which means you attend the foundation class in end of October, then you join again on the on the um, on the December master class. Okay, so for those that who don't know, uh, as long as your membership is still active and valid, you can reattend for the master class. Okay, like for example, uh, we're gonna have like uh, once every two months, which means like December, February, March, uh, sorry, December, February, April, uh, uh, June. Okay, so every two months we have one. So let's say in case uh, you cannot join December or maybe you can only join Zoom, you can attend a physical class, don't worry, you can always come back to February, April. Okay, so hopefully by <clears throat> December, we still can proceed with a physical class, okay? We will we, we'll get back to you on that for those who are interested in a physical class, okay? How much is the cost is both one day and three day master class? What's the content, okay? All right, uh, maybe I'll show you over here. Huh? So uh, if let's say you sign up directly for the, for the, for the master class, you get the foundation class for free, okay? But if you sign up for six months and, and a 12 months right now, 
you get the foundation class, okay? So, uh, oh, oh, sorry, no, it's the one. Okay, so here will be the master class. Let's say combo plan. You are taking the master class plus the trauma membership. Uh, the press will refer to per eight, but but okay, if you want, you you text to me. Okay, my contact number is there. Uh, I will give you the special press of four triple eight. Okay, not five triple eight. Okay, just text it to me. Okay, so you uh, this will be included in the in the master class. Uh, we'll go through the VSA, uh, four market stages. Of course, foundation class will cover too. Now the the things that are different from the foundation class and the and the and the master class is this. Okay, uh, cluster of closer pocket pivot uh, and pullback at once method. Okay, this is things that we're not going to cover in the foundation class. Okay, because we're going to cover the shake out NS in the foundation class, okay, uh, using the screen as everything. Uh, of course, the SCPO, Hang Seng, and US market, we're not going to cover too because foundation class will cover on the KR, uh, the KRC stocks only. Okay, so this is the this is the difference, yeah. So um, for how much is the, okay, so it's the price is the same. So for Jennifer, uh, the fees for one day class, okay, the fees for one day class is as long as you sign up the package for 12 months or the six month, Okay, uh, which is two six eight eight or one six eight one six zero zero, you get the you get the foundation class for free, which is the one day class. Okay, can I join masterclass online? Yes, you can. Okay, so we will conduct concurrently Zoom and physical class. So if we are doing physical class, we'll do it in PJ area. So if let's say everything is okay, we can conduct. Then okay, you can register. Okay, you can register for that. So Alex asks, is the foundation class is a uh. Uh, not really, not really, because it actually for me it actually is a standalone. But uh, but it's it's best is that before you attend master class, you attend the foundation class too. So that's why when you sign up for the foundation, uh, sorry, master class, okay, we give you the access for the foundation class too. Because the things that we're going to cover in the master class will cover in the foundation class too. Okay, but of course the master class will, will you get more things from it. Okay, where we're going to include uh, the advanced methods. Okay, like pullback. Pocket pivot, cluster closes, US market, and, and the futures market. Okay, CK asks where is the sector split co column chart obtains from? I don't see screener. Okay, for CK, I think CK is our members, right? So go to here, screener, and this is the one. Here I see sector screener. So from there, uh, you can check this, the screener based on the sectors. Okay, CK. <clears throat> okay, welcome everyone. So uh, let me know if you're interested. Uh, my contact number is. Uh, Where's my contact number? Okay, you can contact me at here. Okay, 0162669761. Okay, this will be my contact. So if you're inter interested on the masterclass, you can text me. Okay, I'll send the, the payment link with the early bird price for triple for you. Okay, let me know any other questions that you want to ask. Or maybe you want to go through one or two more stocks. <laughs> Before we close, okay, thank you, Hong Lee. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, if there's no questions, then uh, I will close for today. Or oh, ATMMS, okay. Now, last one, okay. ATMMS before we close, huh? Okay, Green Pentagon is there. Uh, I don't think anything should be worried, okay. So, continue to write the trend, okay. I don't think it is. I think it uh, should. Be. Okay, of course, the early chart seems like making some pullback currently. But I think it's okay. Like, for midterm, long term should be fine. Green Pentagon is still there, okay, which means the uptrend is still is still okay, okay, overall. Um, is 31st October class include in the one 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 K cost? No, okay. It's only for the uh six month and, and trauma, which means for the two six eight eight and uh one six eight, okay, for the for the one day cost. Okay, eco west, okay, last one for Dr. Derek. Let's try Eco West. They haven't checked Eco West for quite some time, so Dr. Derek. Ah, yeah, back to here already. So, which means that you need to wait again. Okay, so they're going back to here. It's kind of similar, like uh, Chrono, Elsoft, and uh, and uh, and uh, Psychom. Okay, it's kind of similar stuff. Okay, but the other day because of the volume selling too heavily, so need to wait again. Okay, so I think Elsoft and Chrono. Uh, got some sort of like activity, right? Ah, uh, yes. So shakeout areas, they feel the whole break back, okay, but the selling here is somehow 
smaller compared to Ecovest. Okay, so Cycom still, Cycom and Chrono still. Okay, ah, Cycom is better. Okay, Cycom is better. Okay, okay, Cycom is better. So let's see how whether got any other chance or not for us to trade. Okay, oh, budget coming in now. Looking for EP at Ecovest budget coming in. Okay, maybe you know the, the next high volume bar will help me. Or maybe you can enter here first uh, because here is a solid support with low volume. Okay, just that you know most of the time in this area you need to wait for a while and we don't know how long. Okay, so you can enter half first, then after come with high volume or pocket pivot. Okay, we can enter again. So okay, with this, uh thanks a lot for the time. I cannot cover everything. Okay, but don't worry for members, you can always text to me. Uh well, let's see how can I help you out for this, okay? So if I've got time this weekend too, uh, I'm going to go through some stocks and I'll share with you, with you all in, in the members groups there. So I'll see you soon and uh, uh, stay safe for those that in KR and PJ or maybe in other places too, okay? So see you again. <clears throat> Thank you and have a weekend. So have a nice weekend.